Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Fans call the memorial service photos of Garrison Brown devastating. Star of Sister Wives Garrison Brown was recognized for his military service by the Nevada National Guard in front of his friends and extended family. The pictures portrayed the Brown family in the midst of their ongoing grief at the deaths of their brother, friend, and son. Some refer to the images as devastating. Robert Garrison Brown was honored by the Nevada National Guard with a ceremony recognizing his military service. The Sister Wives cast members showed their grief for Garrison, who passed away on March 4, 2024, in a number of pictures. At the event was Garrison's fellow National Guard member. The business was positioned in front of the room next to an image of the 25-year-old employee who was on duty. The images were shared on Facebook by the Nevada National Guard. The pictures were dubbed devastating, heart-wrenching, and heartbroken by fans. We thank you on behalf of all the people in the U.S. who adored him and his wonderful mother. We're all heartbroken for her, one admirer commented. There has been a significant loss. Everything we feel is for the family. My deepest sympathies to the Brown family, read a second Facebook post. This is a lovely homage, said a third admirer. If only I could find the right words to console them. I just want to say how sorry I am for their terrible loss. This is really heartbreaking. This impoverished household. Seeing Janelle and the suffering she must be going through breaks my heart. May Garrison rest in peace, cried a fourth admirer. Garrison Brown was honored by the Nevada National Guard with a heartfelt Facebook post detailing his life and military service. The 14-image series was accompanied by this message. The statement said, Today at the Clark County Armory, soldiers from the 1st Squadron, 221st Cavalry, joined with friends and relatives to pay tribute to Staff Sergeant Robert Garrison Brown, who departed on March 4th. Brown was the sixth child in a large family and was adored by his parents Janelle and Cody Brown. He was also a brother, uncle, and friend. His family, together with three cats, Matthew, Patches, and Ms. Buttons, survive him. Cheryl Lee Brown, William Wynn Brown, and Curtis Taylor Brown were ahead of him. Brown was well known for his spirit of adventure and made numerous trips to various nations and continents. Brown demonstrated unwavering devotion to his country as a proud CAV scout and staff sergeant in the Army National Guard. In order to help others, he also had a compassionate spirit and decided to become a nurse. Brown's friends and family remember him for his sense of humor and ability to connect with others, the statement ends. A vacuum has been created in their hearts by his departure. His passing serves as a lesson to value compassion and appreciate close relationships. The Nevada National Guard concluded their tour by disclosing contact information for anybody in need of assistance. The State Chaplain's Office, the Suicide and Crisis Hotline, and the State Psychological Health Manager-slash-therapist were mentioned. Garrison Brown's personal family, the Sister Wives cast, attended both his private funeral service in Arizona and his memorial service with the National Guard. But not every member of his family attended the event in Nevada. Janelle Brown, her son Hunter, Jeannie L. Brown, Cody Brown's mother, Robin and Cody Brown, David Woolley, and Christine Brown were seated in the first row of the National Guard Memorial Service. Next to Christine was Trulay Brown, then Isabel, and Savannah Brown. Garrison Brown, his brother Logan, Michelle Petty, Logan's wife, and Audrey, Hunter's girlfriend, were seated behind Janelle. After her spouse, Mitch Thompson, Audrey Chris, Leon Brown, and Aspen Brown followed. Mary Brown, Gwendolyn Brown, Beatrice Caraz, her wife, Michael T. Padron, and her husband, Tony, were seated across the aisle. Numerous relatives of Robin Brown's direct family as well as the extended family of Christine and Cody Brown were present. Maddie Brown, Janelle's daughter, and Dayton, Aurora, Brianna, Solomon, and Ariella, the children of Robin Brown, were not included in the photo. It's not clear how many of them showed up for the event. Sister Wives, is Leon also ignoring Mary Brown? Is Mary Brown's connection with her son Leon tumultuous? 
Fans spotted the family sitting arrangement during Garrison Brown's military memorial funeral a few days earlier, and it seemed a touch awkward. View the images and read the comments left by other sister wives enthusiasts. Leon Brown has withdrawn from the spotlight and a number of family members during the last few years. Mary helped Leon come out as transgender, but she hasn't shared many updates about them or their partner Audrey on social media since. Some fans can't help but worry whether Mary is indicating a problem between mother and child, even though it's conceivable that she is just respecting their privacy. Following Garrison's memorial ceremony, a lot of followers are becoming even more interested in the circumstances. Leon is plainly visible sitting next to Audrey and their sister and brother-in-law, Aspen and Mitch Thompson, in the pictures of Garrison's service that were released by the Nevada National Guard. Leon appears to be in complete despair as the assembly bows its head in supplication. Mary took a seat across the aisle from Gwendolyn Brown and her spouse, Beatrice Keraz. Fans of Sister Wives are aware of Leon Brown's intense private nature. It's probable that they wouldn't disclose to the public if they did break things off with their mother. Fans, meanwhile, believe the images allude to a far bigger narrative. As of right now, Mary and Leon's relationship status is unknown. In the midst of the catastrophe, other Sister Wives fans talked about Mary's position in the family. Do Janelle, Christine, and Cody agree that Mary was still one of the kids' parents in light of Garrison's passing? I am aware of the conflicts amongst the three ladies, but are they able to see her as a member of the family at special occasions, trying times, etc.? The Reddit user inquired. I was just looking at pictures, and Mary is still in the front row, but she kind of looks out of place. It's challenging to articulate my request. What do you think? The accusations Paydon and Michael T. made regarding Mary's abusive behavior were brought up by a few Redditors. Several Reddit users commented. Some children view Mary as their mother. For some children, Leon is also a sibling. Furthermore, I doubt that anyone would object to the other parent of a half-sibling being there for the benefit of their child. Mary has always had a family and children's focus. She shows up if one of the children invites her to an occasion. Regardless of their relationship with her, I believe that all the grown-ups appreciate this. She has, as far as we know, attended every significant occasion, save Christine's wedding. Well, it appears that Mary is still regarded as one of the moms, as she participated at the funeral and memorial. How do you feel about the circumstances? Is there a relationship between Leon and Mary? Have the majority of the family members severed their ties with Mary, or do they still accept her? Post your ideas in the comments section. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.